Yes, hello. Say hello to the camera. <laughs> uh, okay, that's... Uh, don't tell me it's crashing. Don't crash, don't crash, don't crash. Come on, behave. Uh, are we live on the internet? Oh, it seems we're live. Okay, so it's just OBS being weird on the loading screen for some reason. Okay. Hello, everybody. Jeff Archmond here. So, uh, shadows amidst snowstorms. Hello. Got a wee fluffy guest. Uh, <laughs> to be fair, fluffy hair. Anyway. So, shadows amidst snowstorms is the story event thing. Not main, sto st bleh, not main story quest type of deal, but uh, kind of a storyline event for Genshin Impact, which has come out today, or yesterday, depending on time zones. Weird. So, first things first, we have a one stat, we have a chat with Tamias, because Paimon wants to have a chat with him for some reason. We have not said why. Uh, let's take a look at the old set. Let's hope he has been keeping it, so. Okay, it's just not recording for some strange ass reason. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Good to know. Ah, loading glitches. Ah, we have an Albedo and a Sucrux. I'm just gonna wait for everything to load in first, otherwise we're gonna wind up with, you know, missing items, etc. Alright, that's everything loaded in. Anthony, sort off. Oh, for the love of. What do you mean, currently involved in other quests? Cannot join this quest. What are you involved in? How many of these? Recovering from a severe illness, so I've got to deal with Anthony first. Christ. Okay. That's a good heads up for you guys if you're doing that. Hey, Justin Frias, not bad. Yourself? Alright, so just a heads up for you guys if you're doing this. If you've got Anthony as a daily quest, you got to deal with him first. straight into it, but nope! The daily quests get in the way. Climbing up windmills. At least she's not up the church. <laughs> okay, there we go. The Traveler and Paimon! And our little floaty paper friend. Hello, you two. It's been a long time. Were you having a really serious discussion right now or something? Just a regular catch-up. We meet here once in a while to go through any recent developments in our research projects. Ah, uh, so we just missed him! Maybe we should have hollered to him. 
He didn't look in the best of moods just now, though. Was he upset about something? If so, he probably wouldn't have been in the mood to help out anyway. Huh? Upset? You mean Albedo? Yeah, he wasn't looking his usual self. Upset? Uh-oh, I wonder if... What are you looking at me for? <laughs> I wonder if Tamaeus' research topic is... is so boring that Albedo <laughs> finally snapped. <laughs> wow! Way to throw him under the bus, Sucro. Surely not. It's not that boring, is it? A favor? Uh, well, well, sure. How can I help? What exactly do you want, Paimon? Well, Paimon found a bunch of super duper sweet Sincerius in the mountains the other day. But if Paimon eats them all, then they'll all be gone. So Paimon isn't ready to finish them all yet. Paimon was thinking maybe you could make a device that you put fruits in and it turns them into juice. That way, they'll be preserved for as long as Paimon. <laughs> You want him to make a juicer for you to preserve the fruits, but you do realize that you won't be able to eat the fruit because you'll have turned it into juice. You can turn something into it, you can turn a fruit into a liquid, but you can't turn the liquid back into a fruit. Oh, yeah, I'm afraid that sort of thing is a little. Uh... Huh? Seems pretty straightforward to Paimon. <laughs> Do it! Straight forward to Paimon. Yeah, Mrs. How do you float? I just float. Uh -huh. <laughs> Paimon, I'm afraid you've entered into the realm of the weird and wonderful with this one. <sighs> okay. So how about you, Sucre? <laughs> Any idea? I'm sorry. It doesn't sound like it falls within my area of expertise. I could give it a try if you really want, but... I'd probably just end up giving all your precious fruits arms and legs. Now there's a thought. Whoa, your tone is so calm, but your words are so terrifying. Oh, you'd think I'd be used to this by now. Well, as you know, my focus is on bioalchemy. Besides, keeping things fresh forever is just not possible. If you just wanted to modify certain properties of the fruit or their Maybe seeds, the on the other hand, the I'd easily be able to help with that. One. Alchemists usually focus in on their own research areas. Take us, for example. Timaeus, Albedo, and I all have very different research foci. That was a pronounced out. That was like foci. Paimon, your idea is very imaginative. But it's beyond Timaeus's and my ability. I don't think even Albedo can make such an incredible device. After all, alchemy is not mechanics. There is a big difference between the two. Yeah, well, she's, she's more wanting a mechanic than a alchemist. I'm now trying to think of where she could find a mechanic that could do that. Maybe in Fontaine? I mean, they're the ones who came up with a camera in this world, so probably Fontaine would be her best bet to try and make a... Well, essentially what she's wanting is a mini-fridge. Huh? Well, excuse Paimon for overestimating the power of alchemy! In fact... Before Albedo showed up, everyone in Mondstadt thought alchemy was useless. Of course, we know better now. But even then, I have to admit, alchemy is only one of the many wondrous arts in the world. It's certainly not some kind of all-powerful magic that can simply take a substance and preserve it indefinitely. Uh, uh, oh, uh, sorry. That wasn't meant as a criticism against you personally. Eh, don't blame yourself for Paimon's outlandishness. Uh, Paimon just wanted some fruit juice! What's wrong with that? Okay, do you want the fruit to be preserved or do you want juice? Which one are you wanting, wee lady? Oh, of course, these are just Timaeus's and my subjective opinions on the matter. If you're really intent on pursuing this wondrous device, you can try your luck asking Albedo. But I wouldn't get your hopes up. If he has no idea how to make one either, you'll have to give up on the idea. Uh, he doesn't seem to be in a good mood today, though. What if he ignores us? He won't. Albedo is not that kind of person. Hey, so where is Albedo heading to anyway? Dragon's mine? 
Unless he specifically says otherwise, Dragonspine is where he usually goes. He seems particularly fond of that place. And somehow, the cold doesn't seem to bother him at all. I do have to wonder if they put that line in purely because of what we saw in the trailer. I do have to wonder, purely because... Because as soon as that trailer happened, everybody was making the Elsa jokes about Albedo. And then they even... and then, <laughs> Oh, the voice actor even then wound up singing Let It Go. I'm like, this line. They have to be knowing what they're doing here. Then let's go to Dragon's Mine to find him. Come on, there's no time to lose. They have to know what they're doing with, that, with a line like that. So we passed. This can't even go Seriously? Albedo doesn't like my alchemy device? It can create tiny ice crystals. <sighs> I thought I had a good design here. I was planning to take it further. Timaeus, it's not completely useless, but perhaps it needs to be a little more original. Oh, uh, okay, I see. Uh, I'll give it some more thought. Hmm, then again, what is the use of this thing? I'm the one who came up with it, and even I can't think of a potential application. Yeah. Well, it's about 10 to 11 here in the UK. Time zones! They're a weird and wonderful thing. <laughs> Alright. Where are we teleporting off to? Where are you on bait? The quest has bloody disappeared. Get the quest back up. Why do you keep retracting your messages? You make me seem like a crazy person! Well, I am a crazy person, but hey ho! <laughs> You're just going for a nap. No, no nap? Okay. <sighs> I'm puppy sitting. Oh, hello. We have an amber. Huh? This looks lively. What's the occasion? Let's go and have a look! Hey, Traveler and Paimon! Fancy meeting you all the way out here! Yeah, it certainly has been a while. Amber? Cyrus? Hallett? Oh what no, Hallett! What are doing at Dragon's Mine? Don't you mind the cold? What is gonna go horribly wrong? We've got Pallet here. Last time he was here, he caused a giant mutant plant thing to sprout up and nearly eat us. This guy's got worse luck than Bennett. And is less than... doesn't have as much character appeal. Oh, the Traveler is joining us too! Oh, great! Fantastic! Wonderful! <laughs> the more the merrier! I agree. I feel much better with the Traveler joining us. Definitely the kind of person you want to have around in a tight spot. Sorry, what have I walked into here? Oh, right! Haima remembers most of these people are from the Adventurers Guild! Uh then again, it seems a certain outrider is doing too! <laughs> Allow me to explain! Please do. The Adventurer's Guild is holding winter trading on Dragonspine. That tracks. Okay, As you know, enough. our members have varying levels of adventure experience. Dragonspine is an excellent place for budding adventurers to challenge themselves and improve. But it's dangerous to go alone. So take this. So. We made a plan for senior members to pair up with junior members. This way, everyone can experience training on Dragonspine together under safe and controlled circumstances. How about as safe and controlled as you can get on that one? Now, every adventurer can progress together. I've been working on this grand plan for half a year now, and it's finally coming together! <laughs> it's a great plan, isn't it? Hey! You are an outstanding adventurer. Surely you must be willing to join us and help out. Okay, that explains the Adventurer's Guild. Amber, why are you here? Is the Adventurer's Guild short on experienced members? Ooh. Well, that's part of it, actually. Oh, that's a shot. The other reason is, when I was patrolling the perimeter of Dragonspine, I found a lost kid named Joel. 
I heard he lives here on the camp, so I escorted him back. I know. Joel's father went missing. I totally sympathize with how much Joel misses his family. Dragonspine is so bleak and deserted. It must have been so lonely for him here. Aww, Amber! Anyway, I wanted to do something to cheer Joel up, so I said I'd fill the snowman with him. It's something he enjoys doing. It also gives me a chance to stay here for a while and help Cyrus out. This is your Amber. Count me in. Aw, really? Thank you! <laughs> Let's go meet up with Joel then! Oh, I invited another friend of mine to join too. She should be here any second. She'll be perfect for this kind of thing. Hey, Cyrus, we've got to take off. Is that okay? No problem. Go ahead. I still have some final checks to make, so I will call you before we depart. We had some help here. Come and have some help. Talk to the lonely girl. I swear, there was a kid here named Ellie as well. I mean, kind of losing it. <laughs> hey, Joel, we're here. Been a long time, Joel. Hi, everyone. <laughs> I'm so happy right now. It's nice to have so many people to hang out with. Are you here to build a snowman too? <laughs> yes, let's have the Ice Queen build a snowman. <laughs> build a snowman. Oh. Does her eminence not know how to build a snowman? Oh, sorry. I forgot to do the introductions. This is Eula, the Spindrift Knight and captain of the Knights of Favonius Reconnaissance Company. Amber, you're being far too formal. The child is never going to remember all that. Please. Just call me Eula. <laughs> okay, Auntie Eula. You can call me Joel. <laughs> Auntie Eula? Oh, that is so precious. Uh-oh. Eula's gonna add that to her long list of scores to settle. All right. If that's what you want to call me, go right ahead. <laughs> Screw you, Pybot. Whoa. Eula just let something go for once? It's a small child calling her Auntie. It's a familial term. That's gonna be all right. <laughs> Amber, what's this I hear about a snowman? I came to assist because you told me the Adventurer's Guild was short-handed. Yeah, that's something else. But look, Joel's at the age where he should be having fun, and there's nothing to play with on Dragonspine. He used to build snowmen with his dad, and since his dad's not around, we're keeping him company instead. Besides, Eula, it's gotta be more fun than taking an ice bath all by yourself. <laughs> Let's combine our forces and build ourselves a huge snowman. It'll be a ton of fun. I approve. Yep, yep. Tell Paimon in too. Paimon wants to build a snowman. Hmm. Vengeance will be mine. Andy Eula, are you too busy to join in? Oh, oh that kid is plucking the heartstrings. If so, it's okay. I understand. Oh. <laughs> no, nothing like that. My mind was on something else, that's all. Building a snowman with Joel, are we? <laughs> Sounds wonderful. I'd be delighted to join you. Then let's get started. First, we need to split up into teams to gather some supplies. Joel and I will be on one team. You and Eula can be on the other team. <laughs> hey, Joel, see that huge tree over there? Wanna race me there? Which tree? There's quite a few. Yeah, let's do it! Wow, those two are fast! It's hard to tell which of them is having more fun! <laughs> hey, what's up with you two? Why are you just staring at each other without saying anything? You're acting a little out of character, I'm trying to figure out what you're thinking. Um, well... <clears throat> No one else around, you can say. Joel probably hasn't spent much of his life in the city. Ah, that's why she's letting him get away with the whole calling her auntie thing. Because he has no clue about her last name being Lawrence. He doesn't know me. And he doesn't know what the Lawrence name means to the people in Mondstadt. So she gets a genuine interaction with him. Right! Kids. That's why he calls you Auntie Eula! Careful, Paimon. True. In his eyes, I'm just another ordinary person from Mondstadt. 
It was a surprise, but not in a bad way at all. <laughs> How very perceptive of you. Were you staring at me the whole time when everyone was talking? <laughs> you shan't be getting off lightly for that. The truth is, I'm a little concerned that I might be quite inept at building snowmen. I have never built a snowman before. Yeah, call it. My upbringing was very strict, so I never had the chance when I was a child. And after I grew up, of course, it's not the sort of thing I would spend my time doing. Mm -hmm. Oh no! I'm starting to feel sorry for you, uh... Don't worry about it. The honorary knight will help you. <laughs> you sound confident. <laughs> All right then. Enough small talk for now. I see we have a member of the Adventurers Guild joining us. Greetings! We have a slight problem here. We've done a headcount, and it turns out that we have an odd number of participants. In other words, we still have one instructor slot left to fill. How it happened was, we originally asked Fischl to be an instructor, but she was busy with something outside of Mondstadt during this period. So, we found another adventurer to fill in for her, but they no. still haven't shown up yet! So wait, are we gonna get Fischl appearing later in this event, maybe? Hmm, that'd be good to have a reunion with that. What exactly is Fischl doing outside of Monster at the moment, though? Thank goodness you are here! <sighs> oh, hello! My name is Gerald. I'm a new adventurer. Hmm, in that case... You look and help. Fine. But for that, you will pay. There we go. Vengeance. Huh? Pay for what? That's just how you look. Okay. Like. I got it. I'm ready and willing to learn. Oh, poor Gerald. You're gonna get destroyed. Good, good. Then everything is settled. Thank you for your help, Eula. If anybody else signs up later, I may have to ask for your help as well. Why did you give the spot to Eula? Eula really desperately needs this kind of opportunity. Oh, okay! <laughs> You're so nice! Paimon noticed Eula smiled just now. It must have meant a lot to her. To be honest, Eula really is the best candidate for an instructor. Most people would find it hard to cope on the mountain because of the sheer cold, but not her! I'm just ever so slightly distracted by the little floating paper from your pulling off martial arts poses. Oh, now Paimon gets it. This must be the whole reason why Amber got Eula involved in the first place. Mm -hmm. Um, we were supposed to find supplies, but now Eula's busy with other stuff, and uh, Paimon doesn't feel like going around collecting things. Okay. How do you think Amber and Joel are doing? Let's head up the mountain and see what they're up to. Of course you don't want to go to the thing to find out. Alright. Into Dragon Spine. How far away are they from where I am right now? Oh, they're about there. Ah, oh, that's the tree they were running to. I'm just going to tell them up to there. The damn side is I'm trying to leg it slash swim it up to there. Oh, hold on. I need to get a pyro character into my team. Ah! Where's our spine set up? Swap Noel out for Zinyan. Oh yeah, rock on! There we go. Strange. Didn't they say they were going this way? Where the heck are they? Did we get here too late? Have they moved on already? Hello.
The sound just completely stopped. Looks like we lost it. How could that happen? After all the adventures we've been on, our tracking skills are honed to perfection. Aren't they? Uh, hit or miss. Oh, guess we underestimated whatever was behind it. But if that's the case, what exactly are we dealing with here? I know that voice. It's an Obeyo! Huh? What brings you to Dragonspine? It was just you. Oh, so it was Albedo all along! All along? Oh, what do you mean by that? On the way here, we kept hearing weird noises. And it felt like someone was watching us the whole time. Turns out it was just you! Or was it? Honestly, you really gave us the creeps. If you're bored up here, go find something useful to do. Don't go sneaking around scaring the poop out of people. <laughs> The things you felt and heard could easily be attributed to animals, or bandits, perhaps. You should be wary at all times in this environment. There are all too many ways to sustain losses here if you aren't careful. So, what business brought you here? It's a long story. We actually came to look for you! But then it turned into looking for Amber, but now we've met you, so we're back to that again. Okay, Paimon, make your request. Hmm. <sighs> Your thought process is rather chaotic, as is the way in which you articulate it. Well, that's Paimon in a nutshell. Hey! How dare you! All Paimon's trying to say is that we came here to look for you! Oh, is that so? Then it must surely be something of great importance. I'm all ears. Actually, it's, uh, nothing serious. He seems to be in a better mood than we thought, right? Does that mean Timaeus' stupidity doesn't really get to him after all? We were probably overthinking it. Huh. Okay, let's... Let's just forget that ever came up. That's okay if you can't tell me about it. Just treat this as an opportunity to stroll on the mountain and enjoy the view. So basically, the truth is we're here on adventurer duty. Tell Alvedo about the event Adventures Guild as well. Oh, I see. So, you foisted the rookie off onto Eula, so that you could wander off and, uh, goof around? <laughs> Don't tell her that! Good lord, do not give Eula that version! We're not goofing around! And Eula was the right person for the job! We were just being nice! What about you then, huh? What are you doing on Dragon Spine? A friend commissioned me to do some artwork recently, and I have yet to finish. I came here because it's a quiet place where I can gather my thoughts, gather inspiration, and gather some raw materials while I'm at it. Raw materials? For what? Paint. Star silver can be used to make high quality silver paint. I just ran out of my previous batch, so I'll collect some ore while I'm here. Ore can be used to make paint? Yeah, if you grind it up enough, it makes it into a powder, which you then can mix in with waters and... and... Voila, you have a paint. Yes, but you have to be selective with the specimens you choose. Yeah, otherwise it just turns into brown. Mm. Even with a high level of impurities, star silver still contains fine silver colored particles, but they lack luster, which impacts the color saturation of the pigment made from them. Paint made with such pigment is generally viewed as a fake or a defective product. Interesting. So. Paint aside, can you talk about how you find inspiration? Paima wants to learn! You want to learn to paint? No, no, not for me, for the Traveler! Paima wants the Traveler to learn how to paint. Why does this feel like another scheme? During our travels, we sometimes have nights where there's nothing to do. It sure be nice to do something memorable rather than just sit around. All right, talking to the top beat. Painting is a great example because it can capture a moment in time. So it seems like it's definitely a worthwhile skill to have. So you want me to learn to paint now? Yep, why not? Once you mastered it, you can paint Paimon. Oh, just for a giggle, I can take that sentence so many different ways than you intend. I can paint Paimon. Boop. Not a bad idea. Well. Since you two would like to learn more about painting, 
Why don't you come with me to the campsite? I have painting materials there. You can practice while I give you some guidance. Sounds great! Oh, she'll be fine. She is a knight of Favonius after all. Let's just forget about all that stuff for now and go with Albedo. I'm on. You really just want to just goof around. But, alright, plot demands it. Come on, let's go! It's so cold out. I know once to get to the camp and warm up by the fire. Why is it in the tempo? This place has been ransacked. Thieves! It's gotta be! Hmm. Some things are missing. Nothing valuable, hopefully! Wait, where's Paimon's Mora? You don't carry Mora. I'm the one carrying the Mora! It's hard to say their value, but... Some of my alchemy notes are missing. Oh, that can't be good. Alchemy notes? Would they fetch a high price? Or may be misused. To the uninitiated, they are merely scraps of paper. But for someone who knows what they're doing, the knowledge contained in those notes is more valuable than any treasure. So you're saying only someone who knows alchemy would have stolen them? But the only people who come to Dragon Spine are adventurers, thieves, and monsters. What use would any of them have with your notes? I don't think it's that simple. I feel the same way. However, Helitril break-ins and other such incidents are not unheard of on Dragonspine. It's difficult to draw a conclusion based solely on the evidence at hand. <sighs> hmm. These appear to be... What have you found? Footprints? Ah, tracking time. Fresh ones. Meaning our thief can't have made it far. We can't let them get away! From the entrance, the footprints go that way. Footprints lead up there. So they scaled the cliff. Okay, after them. Stabilize! 
That's why we have to hurry. Huh? The footprint's stop here! Our thief must have jumped from the cliff. Get your wind glider ready. We are going down. Footprints. They're heading to the cavern. Ooh, we got you now. You sure can run, but you definitely can't hide. Let's go in. Okay. Wait, I have an idea. Oh. I'll go in alone. Traveler, please stay here and guard the entrance. This cavern has two points of entry, and there are shortcuts inside. Judging from the state of the footprints, he hasn't been in there long. I should be able to reach the other side before he does. Okay. Cut him off at both ends. Good idea! Whoever apprehends the thief first has to notify the other party. This way we're fully covered. Still, safety comes first. We do not yet know the identity of our thief. Please take care. We'll be fine. <sighs> okay. See you shortly. Take care too. Of course. After Albedo leaves, you might want outside. I wonder if Albedo like... found the thief. This is taking forever. It's not been that long. Really? Huh. Maybe it just feels like a long time because Paimon hates waiting. Waiting is so boring. <laughs> Why don't we find something to do to pass the time? You know, something like... Um, something like... You really don't oh! have Look at all that star silver over there! Why don't we gather it up for Albedo? It's right next to the cavern, so we won't be going far. If anything happens inside, we can be right back here in no time! Yay! Let's get started! Oh, this is gonna go badly. Huh. This stuff looks kinda lackluster. Is that because of the impurities like Albedo was talking about? Probably. There it is. Hey, this one's not bad. The cavern? All right, this should be enough. Hmm, some star silver shines a lot more brightly than others, huh? Finally, you're back! Yes. This one looks different. Sorry. I was unable to catch him. He was faster than I'd imagined. Oh. oh. So after all of that, we still don't even know who the thief was? Uh, what a waste! I've got an inkling. There's some, uh... Details missing. Still, here. we won't be going back completely empty handed. We did some mining! Uh, mining? Yeah, for Star Silver. Look, we got quite a lot! It's just like you said some are really bright and shiny, and others just look like regular lumps of rock with a little shiny bit here or there. 
Star Silver. Uh, <laughs> I was merely saying what was on the front of my mind. Uh, I hadn't thought you would genuinely go and gather some. Well, you said they can be turned into paint, so we got pretty curious. Also, if it weren't for that thief, we'd be making paint by now anyway, right? Or even painting by this point. Anyway, it's all the thief's fault for wasting our time. Yes, it's all the thief's fault. This is not our bait. The notes mean a lot to me. I'm not quite ready to give up the search yet. Let's keep an eye out for clues as we go. This guy's not Albedo, this guy's not Albedo, but if that's the case, who the hell is he? Oh, just one thing. Do you want us to bring all this ore back, or did you want to sort through and get rid of the useless bits first? There's no point in bringing the bad ones back if it'll ruin the quality of the paint. Mm, some of them do look pretty dull to climb on, so it doesn't seem like those will be of any use at all. <sighs> <laughs> Indeed. The sorting process is necessary. Humans are such practical creatures. They only want those things that are good. Once they have learned to distinguish between good and bad, they will never stop comparing things in their minds. Uh-oh. Useless things should be disposed of at the outset. Oh no! Right! Saves a lot of time that way. Efficiency first! Paimon? It's me, Bennett! Whoa! It's really him! <laughs> what are Let's you doing in out? there? So sorry to trouble you guys again. The key should be someplace nearby. Please, help me find it! How did you wind up in the box, we man? Wow! So much clutter! Oh, we're not gonna find the key here, surely! Uh oh, we got company! Hello. I will have order. Here we go. Thunderclap! Time for takeoff. Pyrotechnic! Yeah. Yeah. This is order. Yeah. Yeah. Kill to the wall. Yahoo! Amp it up! Oh, so they kept the key with them! Huh. We were searching around for nothing. Oh, finally, I'm out. Big smell. Thank you so much. It's you. If only there hadn't been rocks mixed in with the snow on the tree, it wouldn't have made me all dizzy when it fell down onto my head. And then I would have never walked into the Fatui's trap. That's a whole lot of chaos theory going to dinkies there. <laughs> Even though we paper mine's going, <laughs> Bennett? In a cage? Never saw that coming. <laughs> you are being extra sarky today here, Karina. Core. Apologize, I must correct myself on that one. Core. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I won't bore you with the rest of the details. Just me being unlucky again. Hey, Max. Yep, taking them out was child's play. No need to thank us. You did? 
<laughs> That's so nice of you guys. I know they were probably just following orders. But still, thanks for helping me out. So what are you doing on Dragonspine? Didn't Razor want to come with you? Did you hear about the Adventurer's Guild thing? They're hosting a winter camp here. As one of their veteran adventurers, I'm here to help out the rookies. Oh, that explains why one of our head count was a bit short. Razor is not an adventurer, and as the leader of Benny's adventure team, as well as the only actual member, I had to come on my own. I'm surprised you haven't got him signed up to be an adventurer yet. But now I've been stuck here for so long, I probably missed it. Oh, I hope Cyrus doesn't get mad at me. I think Cyrus is kind of used to it at this point, buddy. Oh! Wait, so that guy Gerald who got left in the lurch? He was supposed to be paired up with you? I think we kind of did him a favor. If so, sorry, Bennett, but you really did miss it. He got paired up with a different instructor instead. What? <laughs> Dude, don't look so shocked. Weren't they short on instructors? Where'd they suddenly get extras from? A few people from the Knights of Avonia stepped up in order to help support the event. So they ended up with more instructors than students. Knights of Favonius. Oh, yeah, they're definitely more reliable than me. I'm just a walking accident waiting to happen. Buddy. Don't be like that, you're great too. Right, right! Anyway, that was just the situation when we last saw them. It might have changed by now. Who knows? Maybe a whole load more rookies will have turned up to join in. Besides, after all the trouble you've gone to show up as an instructor, I'm sure Cyrus will put you to work. Really? For sure. And you are a walking disaster magnet, so at least the rookies will get an idea of what not to do and what to look out for in winter training. I think. Hey, Maybe. wait a second. Where'd Albedo go? Albedo? You mean, the alchemist from the Knights of Avonius? He's one of the instructors, too? Uh, no. No, 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 no. no, he just happened to be on Dragonspine. We were just with him, but then we heard you calling for help. He must have left us at some point after that. Oh, there probably will be an explosion somewhere. Hmm. Could he have gone back to keep looking for clues? Let's go back to the cavern and see if he's there. Back to the cabin. Sprinty, sprinty, sprint. Still no sign of Albedo. This is weird. Where has he run off to? This is great. Dragon Spine's so fun today. There's so many people around. It's never usually like this. This was where we heard Bennett's cry for help, right? We heard his voice and went straight over to rescue him. Then we noticed Albedo was gone. Huh. So he just didn't feel like helping us save Bennett? Apparently. Wait, what? What are you talking about? Oh, Albedo! Where the heck have you been? We've been looking for you! I should be the one to ask you that. Didn't I tell you to stay at the cavern entrance? Huh? I'm not really following who was waiting for who and who was looking for who, but... First things first. I apologize, Albedo. I don't fully understand what's going on, but... It seems like it's mostly my fault. Benny! No, no. Bennett, this is not because of you. You needn't blame yourself. Traveler, clear this up for me. What was the reason that you left the cavern entrance? Did you... <sighs> there you are. Oh? Stay right there. You have a lot of explaining to do. Um... Who is she, who is she talking what? to? Me? Huh? You, huh? Aren't you supposed to be helping the new guy? <laughs> yes, that's what I would be doing. If I hadn't been interrupted by a certain someone's malicious scheming. What? Albedo. I saw you taking Jewel towards the wasteland at the edge of Dragonspine. That place is crawling with monsters. What the devil do you think you were doing? Ah, uh, they are aware they're in worse clothes for winter. Yeah. Uh, 
winter costumes for them yet. Whoa, 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 wait a second. What's going on? Actually, wrong question. How much stuff is going on? When I came to stop you from leading Joel any further, your first reaction was to throw the child down and attack me. When I fought back, you quickly fled. Care to explain? Uh... Oh, I see. Interesting. Interesting? You, uh... It sounds like you met an imposter. Someone who was impersonating me. Impersonating you? To what end? It is difficult to draw a definitive conclusion for now. But these strange incidents do seem to be connected. And Eula's defense, she's really not bothered by the cold. Neither is Albedo. <laughs> Your alchemy notes were stolen. Can the Traveler and Paimon testify that the three of you were together up until you entered the cavern? Yep. Yes, we can confirm that. As things stand, I don't have any reason to harm the child. Whoever you met is likely to be both the thief who stole my notes, and also an imposter. Of course, it's entirely natural for you to be skeptical of my story. I was separated from the Traveler and Paimon for a significant duration while we were pursuing the thief. My word alone cannot serve as a definitive account of my actions and whereabouts <laughs> during that period. But the Traveler and Paimon can at least testify that I was not the individual who tore up the campsite or stole my notes. Albedo, do you have any enemies? Could it be one of your enemies impersonating you to get revenge on you or something? I don't have any enemies. And I'm not aware of having given anyone cause to exact vengeance upon me. Apart from Yula, maybe. There is insufficient evidence to assert what happened with any certainty at this point. Given how serious the situation is, I intend to investigate it myself. Even if you decide not to pursue it any further. Oh, we're pursuing this. You, uh, I won't discourage your ongoing suspicion of me if you can't believe my story. So, naturally, I would hope you can afford me some credibility on account of our solidarity as fellow members of the Knights of Avonius. Traveler, Paimon, Bennett, if you are willing, I welcome you to monitor my activities beyond this point so that you can act as my witnesses. If I am what this imposter wants, he will come looking for me again eventually. Things can only become clearer from that point on. <sighs> I'll give you the benefit of the doubt, as preposterous as your claims sound. And I will choose to believe that an imposter went after Joel, and not you. I will keep Joel safe. If you need any support with the investigation, contact myself and Amber. You have my gratitude. As far as Amber goes, I will... Eula! Eula! Where are you? Amber? What's up? Amber! We're here! Eula! Oh, and Traveler, Paimon, Albedo, and Bennett, you're all together. Great. What's up? Bennett, I'm glad I ran into you here. Cyrus was telling me you still hadn't shown up. He was getting worried you might have run into some trouble. <laughs> yeah, I ran into a little trouble. Thanks for your concern. Hey, Arasanji. And yeah, this is kind of amusing given the fact that the voice actors regularly play um, among us as well. <laughs> sure thing. Well, now that I found you, let's go check in with Cyrus. Uh, but before that, has something come up? How come you're all gathered here together? Need any help? Let's sum it up Between somehow. us, there have been a few minor incidents. But nothing I haven't already dealt with. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's my fault, really. All because of my bad luck. But everything is fine now. So, it's all set then? Great! Shall we head back down together? I did say I'd bring Bennett back if I saw him. <laughs> sure, I'm ready to go. <sighs> Very well. Let's go. And then there were three. Traveler, can we talk somewhere else? There's something I need to tell you. Okay, I think I can. Let's go to my camp. I kind of guess what you're going to tell us, but uh, how do I get it from the horse's mouth, as it were? Oh, my knee. 
You're not supposed to be acting up with digital snow yet. Right. Mm. Then again, it's kind of cold outside. Old Lego Dream decides to act up now and again with the weather. So. <laughs> snow weather. It's not supposed to act up with, you know, <laughs> in game weather, but hey ho, whatever. <laughs> My camp is somewhere that we can talk openly, without reservation. But... before that... Let's get it fixed up a bit, shall we? Wow! What a mess! I can help tidy up. Thank you. I appreciate it. I've been absorbed in my research lately and haven't attended to the dusting. It's due for a cleaning. God, I feel cold out here. <laughs> yep, that should do it. Neat and tidy. Thank you, both of you. Now that everything is in order, it's time to talk. You look really serious right now. Is this about what happened earlier? The beans. I remember I once told you that you must have questions, and that I would answer them. I also said that, while I did not wish to deceive you, there were certain things I could not go into detail on. Spell it. I am a synthetic human being. A human forged by human hand. The one who created me, my mother and teacher. Her name is Rhine Daughter, a researcher from Conria, also known as Gold. A synthetic human? What the... How the heck does that work? He's a homunculus, basically. When the pinnacle of attainment in alchemy is combined with unimaginably vast learning, the apex achievement is the creation of human life. When you say Conria, do you mean... I am indeed somewhat older than my appearance might suggest. But when I came into being, Conria had already been destroyed. I have no memories of it. Look, he's at least 500 years old. Give or take a decade. My master raised me and taught me everything. Like her, I am a pure alchemist. I live for academic knowledge. Nationality and identity are not what ultimately define us. That would also explain how Rhyndotter gave Alice a letter of introduction for him. Because Alice, uh, Klee's mom, is probably about just as old, if not older. Oh boy. Traveler. Alice, we're gonna have questions. What is your general feeling toward Dragonspine? You've visited numerous times yeah, now. Alice. Would you say it's a cold, eerie, and melancholy place? Rhyndaughter created two miraculous beings. One is me, and the other is the venomous dragon, Durin, who died here. Oh boy! Durin? So that makes you guys... brothers? <laughs> As sons of Rhyndaughter, Durin and I are indeed inextricably linked to one another. The phenomenon of our creation defies definition within the scope of a typical human worldview. But if we may tentatively call it birth, then yes, we, by extension, are family. Hmm. Um, speaking of Durin, Paimon remembers that his power was quite special. Strange and tenacious life force. That's right. Because of this, whenever strange things happen on Dragonspine, it always makes me wonder. For instance, the feeling of being watched that you described, as well as the sounds you heard, and the one impersonating me that Eula met. What that? There's something else I couldn't say earlier. Oh, right! Paimon knows what you mean! When Eula and the others were here just now, the Traveler gave me a look as if to say, don't say anything. Probably because it would only make you more suspicious, so Paimon kept quiet. But Paimon noticed that you came out of the cavern not too long after going in, and you told us that you didn't manage to catch the thief. 
Then we heard Bennett calling for help, so we went to rescue him. But strangely, you didn't come with us. And when we got back to the cavern to go find you, suddenly you were the one looking for us! So, it seems that you met my imposter too. Yep. Main difference, doesn't have the wee diamond thing in the middle, and there's probably some other differences as well. Like, no shiny bits in the eyes. Well, if so, it was a pretty good impression. He had you down to a T. We never would have guessed. Also, after he left us, why did he go after Joel? Perhaps Durant's power drives people to madness. But that's merely crude conjecture. Whether someone is impersonating me or there is another false me out there, this is a cursed tale, and it is not one whose weight you should have to bear. I'm thinking it might be Durin manifesting as his, well, brother. Traveler, perhaps you should return to Mondstadt if you have no further business here. The work that lies ahead will occupy me completely. I'm afraid I will be unable to entertain you beyond this point. Yeah, dude, I'm not going anywhere. Paimon and I will help with the investigation. Yeah, we're Dragon's Mind veterans by now! If there's something really bad going on, we can't just leave you here to deal with it on your own! That wouldn't be very nice now, would it? Besides, there's no one else in Mondstadt that you can talk to about this. Sucrose and Timaeus don't know your... Secret. We're the only ones who can help. Yeah, don't push us away at a time like this. All right, thank you. You were intending to participate in that winter camp, if I recall correctly. That could serve as an excellent pretext for you to remain on the mountain. In that case, please join in the activities of the Adventurers Guild as planned, and be on the lookout for any leads while you're at it. If anyone sees me, or someone like me... We'll be sure to pass the info straight on to you! Good. Then we're agreed. Okay, let's split up to look for clues, then meet back here at this camp in a few days' time! Sounds good to me. But please, whatever happens, put your safety first at all times. <laughs> that, that, you don't need to join in. In. That's the quest complete. Now, what exactly is the event going on for this? So, born. Okay, so we've got born of the snow. Cinnabar spindle is the sword we get from doing this. Uh, it gives a defense boost normally and base attack. Uh, elemental skill damage is increased by 40% of your defense stat. The effect will be triggered no more than once every 1.5 seconds and we've cleared 0.1 seconds after elemental skill deals damage. Power within might be even built to withstand the corruption of a venom that could corrode a mighty dragon. Mm. During Dragon Dragon Spine special training, you can obtain various snowman components. After obtaining, obtaining snowman components, complete a puffy snowman. All right, so you can so you can exchange components with people on your friends list. Okay. Okay, puffy snowman. Okay, so we're to go there to build that snowman. Said during Dragon Spine Special Training, we get the materials. So, Dragon Spine Special Training is the agility training, which gets us some of these Snow Strider emblems, which I'm presuming is the event currency. Uh, what's this? Snowman Head Cat's Clamation. Oh lordy. Okay. Happiness in general. Ah, it can be used to build a puffy snowman. Children love use val using Valerie dye to add blushes to them. <laughs> oh, I can use that to make a puffy snowman as well. Okay. Hello. Yes. Oh, I think I'm getting told I'm not paying attention to him. So. <laughs> yeah, let's take a look at the event shop. So. Alkahest. 
silver substance shining with an otherworldly light that is deadly corrosive poison to things of this world. Okay. That's a interesting material. <laughs> Trial trophy is not yet open. I'm presuming that's when we're going to be getting the crown from this. Because I don't see the crown as a training reward item here. Said, and I've got this little, this little one here to deal with. Uh, I think I'll call it there for now. Uh, thank you all for joining in, and uh, hopefully, see you all guys with the next one, which I'm uh, not sure when the next quest, next phase opens in five days. So that will be when will that be? In theory, that'll be on the thirtieth. So next Tuesday, give or take. Oh, hold on. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. So either next Tuesday or next Wednesday, depending on how they've defined, you know, in five days. <laughs> but uh, yeah, till then, Jeff Archfiend, out.